Hello, greetings, and welcome! It's time for another semi-late night unboxing. Um, let's see if I can fix my lighting situation. At least a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> uh, greetings, and welcome. Um, this time, uh, we've got this month's Loot Crate. This is the normal Loot Crate, not DX, not anime, plain old Loot Crate. It's the one I get. As with all Loot Crates, you know, black box. It's got something on, some decorative on the inside. Uh, it's got some interesting dimensions to it this time. Uh, this month's theme is Anti-Hero. Um, pull up the site. Here's Loot Crate. Now, this box is with the anti-hero theme is no longer available, um, unfortunately. But if you do like what you see in this, and you want a box of random miscellaneous geek stuff with a theme, uh, check out Loot Crate at LootCrate.com. There's a link below to... Uh, uh, there's a link on my Twitch channel if you're watching live. There's a link below on my uh, YouTube channel in the description if you want to check that out a little later on, uh, or if you're watching on YouTube. But, I just got this earlier today. I would have been on sooner, maybe, um, but the guys at Kinda Funny, uh, at twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, were uh, having a 12-hour stream to christen their new uh, studio. Um, it's a lovely studio, bunch of great guys, I'm a really big fan please feel free to take advantage to go over to, to them, check out their stuff, uh, a lot of great content. Um, and here, let's uh, get this cracking. As I said, I just got this earlier today. Uh, I have a little bit of an idea what's in here. Uh, I tried to avoid a little bit of spoilers, but unfortunately with Loot Crate, uh, most of the monthly boxes anymore... Unless you're lucky and get them super early, it's really hard to avoid the spoilers. Uh, Funko with their uh, with their boxes, they do an unboxing literally like right after it ends. So before anybody has them in their hands, they've told you what's in the box. Uh, Loot Crate, they're a little bit better. They wait a little bit, uh, let us have a chance at them. Uh, but uh, there are plenty of unboxing videos and Reddit channel and Reddit subreddits and all of that. So. Let's go. Um, this month's theme was, uh, slash, is, uh, anti-hero. So, let's see inside. Um, so, we'll start with what's right on top, uh, the shirt. Um, I don't know if I'd really call this guy an anti-hero, but it's a, an archer for president. A sterling archer. Dangers for Danger Zone President. I wouldn't really call him an uh, anti-hero. At least not so much. Just kind of a like drunk. <clears throat> I just kind of got in this show. I just began getting through it. So I'm really kind of enjoying that. So I guess, I guess it's a good thing. Like, my timing was appropriate. I didn't know that Archer was going to be in this month's crate uh, when I started watching the show. Then I found out and I was like, cool. Something I actually care about. Uh, well, we'll go with, with what's next. Uh, we have a pair of socks. Uh, they are Kill Bill socks from the Quentin Tarantino movie. Kill Bill Volume 1. Uh, they are Miramax branded and Loot Crate exclusive. Uh, <clears throat> you can see they resemble the bride's tracksuit from Kill Bill. Uh, I'm not going to take them off the card. We have, and we'll continue digging in, we have this month's pin. Uh, every month, Loot Crate comes with a different pin. Uh, this month's is uh, probably my favorite character from the World of Warcraft, uh, leader of the faction that I used to play, Sylvanas. Um, I'm, this is going to be a kind of a hard one for me because I know that this, come, that this crate and the pin, uh, because as the digital goods for this crate... Um, this month, it's everything up to current, 
without except for Legion of World of Warcraft and a month. I used to play World of Warcraft. I haven't for many years, and I'm trying to avoid getting back into it. But now I'll have access to the other expansion, so it'll be tempting. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid that. But... Uh, next up, we have a right hand of doom ceramic bank from Hellboy. Let's uh, crack this bad boy open. Still sounds in one piece. Uh, seems a little small on the bank side. Uh, uh, I have a bucket for all my change, and I can guarantee you that not even a quarter of my change would fit in this thing. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look at. Let's see, it's got that. It's it's. Hellboy's right hand. I'm gonna take the stopper out of the bottom just to get a glimpse. Yeah, it is actually actually ceramic. Not just uh, ordered as ceramic and thought to be, uh, and then comes out as plastic. It is actually a ceramic bank. Uh, it's a little on the small side. I don't know if I'll actually use it for any coins or anything like that, but I. I do dig it. Uh, Hellboy's a fun character and a fun comic, and uh, I think a good character and a good series of movies by uh, a fantastic Guillermo del Toro, played by a brilliant actor. Um, and then we get to uh, this kind of a big thing. We have uh, kind of a stand piece, I'm guessing. Um, there are instructions on how to mess with the box uh, in the magazine. Uh, this is the monthly magazine, anti-hero on the cover. Um, some secrets, some stuff. It's it's a little mini magazine, but it also takes and covers um, the contents of the crates, um, as well as some articles that relate to it. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, it's intended with the crate to kind of turn it into a version of Harley's Hammer. Uh, Harley Quinn's hammer, and that's important because the next big item, the kind of the big item, is a Harley Quinn Q fig. Uh, this is kind of cool for me, as it does seem to resemble, in the style of the Q figs, my 1960s style Q fig. Uh, it's got the kind of funny on there because it really reminds me. This particular version reminds me of Greg Miller of Kind of Funny. Uh, when he did uh, an Arkham Knight review in a really poorly fitting Batman costume uh, on their Kind of Funny Games YouTube channel. Uh, big fan of Harley Quinn. This is uh, in the classic style uh, for Harley. Um... Uh, <clears throat> as opposed to the, the Suicide Squad style Harley. Right, so it's Harley with one of her hyenas. Uh, I don't recall the name of her hyenas, but it's kind of cool. Uh, he's in his little, uh, his own Harley Quinn gesture hat. Uh, her hammer is free rotating, so it is uh, kind of in her hands, but not permanently attached. Uh, if I do some finagling, I'm sure I could get it actually out of her hands. Uh, see if I can kind of like to find a way to get it to be vertical. <clears throat> kind of like the, the vertical hammer as opposed to just kind of on the side. It also comes, and this is the, the strange thing, right? My kind of my Batman came with a little, uh, mark, a little kind of whiteboard marker, a little dry erase one, uh, because it comes with a little sign. This one says "Hi, put and miss me," referring to, as I'm sure you all know, Harley's good old boyfriend, the Joker, Doctor Harleen Quinzel, 
formerly a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum, working specifically with the Joker. Sign in there. Looks like an actual voice bubble. Uh, and this is, uh, as you can see on the bottom, it's got the Batman, the animated series. Uh, useful tidbit about uh, Harley. She originated, uh, if you're watching and didn't know, Harley originated in the Batman animated series. Um, one of the most popular characters, and I think the only truly popular character to not originate in any of the DC comic books that, that, that came purely from the animated series. And they do have, since this one, the animated series one is, uh, as I understand it, yeah, it's quite exclusive, so the animated series version. But if you are interested, um, they do have a Suicide Squad version of Harley available uh, with her goodnight bat in style, in kind of the little SD style. Um, so it's got the instructions for that and Harley's symbol. Symbology on there. Put that back in the box. Since I know how to use that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, again, if you are interested in Loot Crate, you can follow the link below. It'll give me a, a bump for a referral. I don't really know what it does. Nobody's ever followed the link for me. <laughs> um, but Loot Crate does have several additional crates in addition to their main Loot Crate. They have... Pull these up. You have the traditional Loot Crate, Loot Anime, Loot Gaming, Loot Pets, Their loot wear, which they used to be a, a level up, uh, it's basically an kind of an add-on to uh, your crates. Their loot crate DX, which is a larger crate. The Halo Legendary crate, which is a bi-monthly crate, I believe, so every other month. Halo, same thing with Firefly. And then they have a couple of limited edition crates still available, uh, called the Black Ops 3. Star Wars, and Gears of War 4. I believe there are two options for the Gears of War 4 crate. Uh, at least there was when it was originally issued, was it when, when it was originally offered, uh, which was a version that comes with Gears of War as well as the items, and then a version that's just Gears of War. Uh, if you want to take a look at some of the, at least one of the limitation and limited edition crates, I did from the larger limited edition crates. I did do an unboxing of the Mass Effect crate, which is available in on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ravenwisha. Um, and you can check that out there, as well as my unboxings of previous loot crates, Powered by Funko uh, crates, the Smuggler's Bounty, and uh, Marvel Collector Core. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, have a good evening and good night.